Today, we'll be checking out the new Apex Legends Ignite gameplay trailer. We're going to get conduits, abilities, and gameplay with her. We're going to get ourselves the new Storm Point map changes. And supposedly, we might also get cross progression for a Season 19. So far, it's a 50 50 right now, but everyone on Twitter is talking about it. So I'll be very curious to see what actually happens. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to break it down right after two. So let's get into it. Okay, here we go. Every storm eventually breaks so we're gonna look at the new storm point map through you Dude, this storm the point looks like in a dystopia bro it's completely destroyed family, so it looks like the new look of fish farms Agassa. and conduit hope the map looks really clean though. I want to quickly say that looks way better. Her character design looks nice though. So soaring speed increases speed when you're running towards teammates by 40%. That's a passive. Rating transfer, which gives 25 shield to your teammates. Here's our ulti. Energy Embrace. Dude, so anyone who caught in and gets tar uh, tagged and takes damage, bro. Looks like a better Horizon in all, in my opinion. Either it will be or won't be. It will be interesting. New 40 POIs for Stormpoint. Dude, Stormpoint's gonna have a whole revamp, bro. You know for a fact I'm making a top five best places to drop for Stormpoint for Season 19. That is a new video. I need to update the video. Cross progression is here. Oh my god, it actually arrives. Let's go! Let's go! Let's freaking go, bro! Devotion? Is that might be the devotion prestige uh, uh, reactive skin? That's the wingman. We know the wingman's going on the care package, but congrats! Progression is finally here, bro. Oh my god! And it's coming out on October 30 freaking first bro which will be tuesday at 1 p.m ets dude holy crap cross progression's finally here dude so we can get into the patch notes now first of all let's check out cross progression cross progression will be coming to the game and of course you can merge any existing so you can on playstation xbox with pc all together and there's important things to keep in mind the only thing that will actually merge will be like your apex coins your apex tokens or legend tokens miss said that one halem shards and existing halems onto one account now keep in mind though that if you have any limited items on those accounts from like apex legend tokens for like xbox is like they actually listed here that this stuff will not get merged it will be its own separate thing the things that will be getting merged will be all listed down here which i've already said before and also xp and other stuff will be actually shared across multiple accounts so meaning that if you get the battle pass completed on one account of course it'll be completed on all the others next we got the storm point map changes first of all we actually got the four new OI POIs. this is the new poi watson uh pylon this is for like the watson takeover this is actually where what antenna was on the map they have completely removed it and looks very similar to that one poi on broken moon i don't remember the name of it. it's like the hot drop on the map and of course we actually got another look of it too inside of it how it looks of course you'll be able to hit the terminals get some stuff from it and of course the imc armories it seems to be uh changed to them like you can they're much more opened up and not locked down and of course we got a new area right outside of actually wait prowlers is gone they removed prowlers okay that's actually kind of funny because the prowlers were really annoying so i'm actually really glad they removed them so we got a whole new area because of that poor prowlers probably went extinct though because of it we also got the new lightning rod area of course this is how it looks like now and this is right next to lightning rod here's the watson town takeover here's a wall and then you can now see how it looks from originally the you know updated it looks better i feel like the color palette too it looks very very better in my opinion maybe that's just a me thing though of course you will be able to use now sky trail dive trails with emotes at the exact same time which is pretty funny so that's pretty cool and we finally got conduit conduit is going to be a support legend so she will be able to craft banners and open blue bands and of course we actually got our abilities they actually don't say what they do right now but i actually have it on my phone uh so first of all the actual radiant transfer it's going to basically target your enemies not enemies target your teammates and actually transfer 25 shield to them so they'll gain 25 back which is pretty good i assume this is going to work similar to themselves it doesn't specify here it just says 
to your teammates. So maybe it will, maybe it won't. Who knows? I'll share as well to check out when the actual gameplay trailer does drop. And then on top of that, we got soaring speed, which gives you 40% movement speed when you run towards your teammates, of course. And of course, that's gonna be such a good ability. Hopefully, it won't be broken where like you can run any direction and it will give you the boost. I assume it's only when you're running exactly towards the direction of your teammates. And I assume the closer you get, the faster you get. That'd be an interesting if that actually works like that. Then finally, we got the energy brocade, which makes it so you set some Titan batteries down. Anyone who's caught in it will take damage, but also will be slowed significantly when they're actually in it. So, yo, this whole update is actually looking really insane. And on top of that too, we actually do got the care package weapon because this, this is stuff on my phone. I can actually talk about this. And the wingman is now being moved into the care package. It is getting a damage buff it's getting skull pierces added onto it on top of that it's getting the elder hop up which is boosted loader so literally the zero uh well even says right here the season zero wingman is back so that thing is going to be an absolute menace now of course the reactive skin is going to be the rampage they don't actually show it on here i actually have to show you by the right here for the new rampage skin which looks pretty cool i don't know if this is the tier 110 or tier 25 version i assume it's the tier 110 though also, Bangalore is getting a massive nerf too. That's like some stuff for this. Okay, Bangalore's double time passive has been reduced. Her smoke time has been reduced and your rolling thunder has been reduced. Wow, the, the, the Bangalore got a lot of hits. And also the L-Star will be returning the floor loot. It will no longer be in the actual uh, care package. And for crafting rotation, the 345 and 3030 will be returning the floor loot for the start of the season. And the R301 and Vault will be actually going into crafting rotations. And the digital scope will no longer be in the crafter ever wow that's actually insane oh my god apex is changing how the actual like respawn system works so literally you if you died in rank let's say for example here with purple armor and you get res you'll be res with purple armor you had left plus on top of that you'll get the non-create weapons meaning the weapons you already had on hand so let's say you had an r301 and r9 you actually will respawn with them however they will not have any of their attachments and on top of that too, you get two stacks of ammo for each of the weapons you died with. Wow, that's actually insane. So you actually will respawn with weapons so you actually will be able to put up a fight. Bro, there's so much information though. Like, yo, this new season's actually insane. Apex season 19 looks to be absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to play it. I got a bunch of videos planned on the burner. So if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed so you don't miss on future Apex Legends videos because I got a lot coming for season 19, boys. I am excited. And I'll see you guys for the one, G-Man.